Good morning and happy Sabbath. We are glad that you've chosen to worship with us today. There are a lot of different things that happen in our lives every day. There's some things we pay attention to and some things we just let go. But this last Monday, we had the opportunity to come together as a church. And when I say a church, I want to sort of describe what that is because all of our campuses here in town came together for the Memorial Day Parade. This Memorial Day Parade was put on by the city of Danbury. We had the opportunity to come together. We lined up, not only with our Pathfinders, but there were directors from each one of the clubs. There was also people from the Northeastern Conference that were here to be able to join us in this march, all dressed up in their pretty little uniforms, looking all good and sharp. And our little adventures marched the whole entire mile and a half. I was so proud of each and every one of them that came out. But you know, next year, there's opportunities for us to do things, like a float. I think it would be dynamic if we had a float that was being pulled and there were kids on it and other things that were on it. And so we're gonna need help pulling that together. And this is the time in which we start thinking about what's going to happen next year. And so I encourage you, come work with the Pathfinders, work with the adventures that we can do things to bring glory and honor to God and that we can represent him well in the community in which we live. So I encourage you to do that. I also want to remind you, speaking of adventures, is the fact that this afternoon at 3 p.m. they have a program. That program is where they receive all their honors for everything that they have done throughout the year. And so I encourage you to be here for their investiture. The Pathfinder investiture will come up a little bit later, and I encourage you also to attend that in the afternoon. So that's 3 p.m. today for the adventure investiture. Now, a dynamic program is coming up this next week. And right now, Miss Judith has an announcement for us on exactly what's going to happen there and why you should be inviting people to church next week for this program. The Department of Women's Ministry exists to uphold, encourage, and challenge Adventist women in the pilgrimage as we, disciples of Jesus Christ and members of His World Church. Women's Ministry Emphasis Day is on the Seventh-day Adventist Church's calendar of days and events and falls on the second Sabbath each year in June. This year, we will commemorate on June 11, 2022. We will be taking this opportunity to plan a full day of activity, including the worship service, a fellowship dinner, and a hike for the afternoon program where we will all fellowship together. It is an opportunity for women to lead out in, in worship service. We invite all women to come out, be involved, join. The women's ministry will also use this time to honor three beautiful women of our church. So come out and fellowship with us as we give God the honor and praise he so deserves. Remember to wear a touch of lavender, purple, and white. These are the colors of the women's ministry worldwide. May God continue to enlarge our territory as women. God's blessing. I wanna thank our AV department for doing such a great job on all these videos. The time they put in of not only just taking them, but also editing them, also going around and getting them. For many of you, you enjoy these sitting down, but it does take time to do that. It takes finances to be able to buy the equipment and have everything work the way that it needs to work. Remember, our objective is to reach people for Jesus. We live in a digital age. Let's all work together. Let's be willing to be shot in video, to be able to do those things that bring glory and honor to God. Please go to dbsda.org. Send your friends to dbsda.org. Our website is where people are going to connect with God. Also look for upcoming videos that are coming up, video shorts that help people understand Jesus better, help him understand what's happening in our church and the wonderful things that are happening. I hope that you have a blessed and wonderful Sabbath. I know that God wants to bless you today.